It's been six days since we first put in the packages at this location. Today we're going to open up the hives for the first time and see how they're doing. We're going to check and make sure the queen is laying, we're going to give them more food, and we're going to make sure they're drawing out the foundation properly. I can tell by looking at the outside of the hive that they're doing pretty well. They're, there's a lot of bee traffic and they're bringing in pollen, which is a pretty good indication that they're rearing brood already. So we'll get the smoker going and open up the hive and see what we can find. I have my smoker lit with a nice, cool smoke. I'm going to start by smoking the entrance. You don't need a ton of smoke. The less you can use, the better. Uh, you want to use enough to calm the bees, but using too much, or if it's too hot, you can actually make them more upset. So just a little smoke, um, and it'll, it'll calm them down. I set the, the telescoping cover in front of the hive because it gives me a good place to set down anything else I may need to take off. The bees have taken about half of the sugar syrup that I provided for them. And I'll take the pollen patty out of the way. You can see that the bees have just started eating some of the pollen patty. That's normal because they use the pollen as a food source for their new brood, and the queen has probably just started laying because they had to draw out comb for her to lay before she could start. The bees look pretty good. It's a small cluster, but that's just because it's a new package. They are clustered nicely right in the center of the hive, which is where we want them. So we're going to pull out a few frames and see if we can find the queen or eggs. I'm just going to blow a little more smoke across the frames, not down into the hive. Use your hive tool to make some room and pull out a frame, but not the center frame. You don't want to risk, you don't want to pull out the frame that the queen is on first because there's a good chance you'll roll the queen. Rolling the queen is when she gets brushed off the, the comb and injured. We can see that they're drawing out this comb really well. They're storing pollen, they're storing nectar. Do a quick check for the queen. And I don't see her here, but that's not unusual because this is towards the outside of the brood nest. Check the other side real quick, but I don't see her here either. So we're going to carefully set this frame off to the side. The bees are starting to line up on the tops of the frames, 
which is a defensive position. We're going to blow a little more smoke to calm them down and move to the next innermost frame. Again, they're doing a really good job drawing this out. Oh, and there's the queen in the top right corner of the frame. We only need to see the queen or eggs, because our only purpose here is to make sure that they accepted the queen and the hive is doing okay. We don't want to disturb them any more than we have to right now, so I'm going to close them up, gently replacing the frames, getting the proper spacing back. blowing a little smoke to get the bees out of the way of the t when I so I can put the pollen patty back on Then I'll put my feeder back on. And our inspection of our first hive is done. I'm going to check the second hive and make sure the queen has been accepted. Blow a little smoke in the entrance. Carefully lift the cover. There's a lot of bees on this cover. They're starting to use the comb that was left over the burr comb in the feeder. That's, that's not ideal, but hopefully it's not a big problem. I'm gonna smoke them off of that. So now my concern is that the queen has been up here and she's laying in this burr comb instead of having the bees draw out comb down in the hive on the foundation where I want them. Just use slow and gentle movements whenever you're working with the bees. We can see that this hive has made more significant progress on this pollen patty. They're also a little more flighty than the other hive, but that's just a personality difference. They're still very gentle, it seems. Set that pollen patty out of the way. And we'll pick out a frame to inspect. Draw it out very carefully and slowly. And again, 
they've done a good job on starting with this foundation. Remember, I'm looking either for eggs or the queen. I don't see either on this frame, so we're going to set it off to the side. I'm going to blow a little more smoke. And take the next frame. Lift it out carefully and take a look. This frame is mostly drawn. I'm really happy with their progress in this hive. I don't see the queen here. Oh, but here she is. She's right in the center of this frame. That's all we needed to see, so it's time to close the hive back up. Especially at this time of year, it's important to put the frames in exactly in the way you took them out. You don't want to be flipping them around or anything, because you could separate eggs that are on some of these frames. Although I didn't see them, they could be there. It's still getting cold at night, and this pack, this colony is not strong enough to keep all their brood warm if I mess up their brood nest configuration. I'm going to give them their pollen patty back. Um, this is Brood Builder from Daydant. Uh, Mega Bee is also a great choice. Um, I've, used, I've used both, and the, re the results are really good. So I'd highly recommend it um, for colonies in the spring and fall. Now, I'm going to remove this burr comb. It's not a terribly large amount, but I just don't want to get them started building up here. So I'm, I'm going to take this opportunity to take it out now. I'm just running my hive tool down both sides to separate the burr comb from the sides of the feeder. Trying to reach my fingers in there. Remove that comb. Now that that's cleared out, we're ready to close up our hive.